Hello, my name is Finton. I work in healthcare. I believe in letting nature take care of us, especially when it comes to our health. So in this short video, I'm going to talk about a subject that is very close to my heart, and that is cardiovascular disease treatment. In this video, we're going to look in detail at the causes of cardiovascular disease, and we will also look in depth at the best options for cardiovascular disease treatment. If you've had a major heart scare, just like me, you will do exactly what the doctor will tell you to do after the event. Usually that involves recovery time, lots of medication, an exercise and diet regime, and you will be advised to stay on drugs for the rest of your life. I speak as an ordinary person who had cardiovascular disease in my middle 40s that caused me to have a massive heart attack due to a 95% blockage in the left ventricle artery. I almost died. Luckily, the hospital consultant had the experience to bring me back from the dead. I have learned a lot since that major health issue in my life about the exact causes of heart disease. I have also learned how to reverse the damage that was done to my heart and the treatment didn't involve drugs. The facts about cardiovascular disease it's a, is by a long stretch the most common heart disease among men and women worldwide. According to the W. The World Health Organization, the number of people that die from cardiovascular disease each year would be in the region of 17.7 million. This equates to 31% of global deaths. Would you agree it's a staggering figure? 75% of these deaths happen in the low to middle income countries and 85% of almost all cardiovascular deaths are attributed to a heart attack or stroke. So what are the main causes of cardiovascular disease? Well, there are a few reasons for cardiovascular disease and they include high cholesterol, uh, poor family history, poor or unhealthy diet, a lack of exercise, smoking and stress. These are the things that are in your control. To avoid cardiovascular disease, it's advisable to exercise, eat a good healthy diet that includes vegetables and fruit, a good source of vitamins and minerals. These are also low calorie, so go for plant-based foods. They contain substances that could help to prevent cardiovascular disease. Foods that are high in calories like snacks, cheese, chocolate and meat should be avoided in favour of veg, fruit and nuts. According to the famous book No More Heart Disease, written by Dr. Louis Ignaro, nitric oxide is responsible for the smooth transport of blood to the vital organs, the most important of which is the heart. So what happens? As we age, our bodies find it harder to produce nitric oxide to keep the buildup of plaque, cholesterol and calcium from sticking to the walls of the arteries. The result of this shortage of nitric oxide means that the buildup gradually increases. You may not even know it's happening. There is a reason that they call heart disease the silent killer. Cardiovascular disease is a blockage in the arterial system. This blockage means that the heart and other organs don't get enough blood. When this happens, people complain of tiredness, shortness of breath or chest pain. This can often be mistaken for indigestion and trust me, it isn't. If you have these symptoms, you need to seek medical advice without delay. If you have had a heart attack or stroke, you are more than likely to be taking some medications such as beta blockers, aspirin, Lipitor or Crestor. These are all cholesterol lowering drugs blood pressure tablets along with a healthy exercise program and a healthy diet. But I believe in letting nature uh, uh, taking care of us to meet our nutritional needs through the foods that I eat. I don't know whether you know the soils that our food comes from are sadly depleted from vital nutrients. We are exposed every day to toxins in the air. All of this makes it harder for our bodies to generate enough nitric oxide for our needs to be heart healthy. Having read the book, No More Heart Disease, it became evident that I needed a supplement to assist me in creating more nitric oxide and start the slow process of reversing the effects of cardiovascular disease. I started on this path, I mean no drugs, in December 2013 by taking two sachets of Pro Arginine Plus on an empty stomach. I was confident that the nitric oxide boost would work, but I knew that it was going to take time. I was prepared to be patient and wait for the reversal to happen. After two years taking this natural supplement, I was feeling good. I made an appointment to go to the hospital for an angiogram to determine the condition of my arteries. The cardiologist gave me some fantastic news. 
He said that my whole arterial system was 100% clear of any plaque. That was five years ago. And to be honest, I still take this fantastic enlargement supplement and I've never felt better. So having discovered that the actual cause of my cardiovascular disease was not just a buildup of bad cholesterol, calcium and unwanted debris sticking to the arterial walls, but also a reduction in the production of nitric oxide due to inflammation in the arteries. If you have cardiovascular disease or heart disease, may I recommend that you give ProArginine Plus a chance to reverse the plaque buildup in your arteries. So to find out more, please visit my website. Thank you. Hello.